Should be fun to see what all I get in this room. And again, I need to make sure I now unequip my holy weapons for beating up on these guys. Since they're resistant. And if you're wondering why I've still got that luck rapier hanging around, I'm not going to be able to use it until I have a curse lifter. Who knows, with all these samurai, I might be able to get another Samu jewel. You never know. Okay, now on this one, we didn't get our surprise attack, so we're going to be taking some damage. But what we want to try to do is spread the attacks around so that by the start of the next round, two of them will be gone. And that way we won't have any chance of any of our characters getting killed. And just remember to heal in between battles. And we're just going to take the same strategy here, even though we got the surprise attack. Just getting as many out of the way in each round as we possibly can. I don't think samurai are particularly susceptible to any one element. So it's not like there's one that I could equip that would knock it out in one shot. So we had pretty good luck here with uh, getting our surprise attacks. And it should save a lot on time. I'm not sure that metal mail is an upgrade. Let's see. No, and that IP effect isn't very helpful either. Well, I'm getting lots of capsule monster food. That's for sure. It doesn't look like any of this is going to help me. And obviously I don't have enough to evolve her yet. But I wanted to get into that rotation. Or a longsword or... Well, a longsword might appear. Uh, I should have changed weapons here just to make this one go faster. Well, and there he's requesting a multi-sword, or she. We just don't have one.
And you can see Flash. This doesn't have much to offer here. Nice agility bump there for Salon. A little bit of agility for Guy. Alright, finally done with this floor. You can see, it's fun to get a treasure room because of all the treasures and you get to face a lot of enemies, but man, it takes a long time to clear it out. And I can't remember where the stairs are. Oh, I think here they are. Still a little ways yet till we get to the ninjas. I can't remember exactly, I'm thinking 43 or 44. There's our fourth Gladius. Now these Bone Gorms, they're susceptible to thunder and effective against hard. So I might go like this. And these guys are a real pain to beat when you don't have anything that they're susceptible to. It takes forever to knock them out. Now, here's a Minotaur. And if I'm not doing a kill every enemy run, I almost always just skip them. They don't drop anything good. You just get hit. That's not worth the drama. and they are resistant to fire. Uh, I'll just let them hit me. I want to get these things out of the way. That was a good hit. That should about do it. And that's part of choosing your battles is, you know, what do you get out of the deal? Is it worth it? I better stop this clip here, and we'll start back up with another Minotaur.